mouth and legs as they push me onto the kitchen table. I don't really know what's happening or why I'm resisting, but the air is charged with a sense of violence. The hands grip tighter, and I feel a burning below my waist. Just when I think I will faint from the pain of something cutting into me, I find the strength to scream through the knotted fingers covering my nose and mouth. I struggle to breathe and scream, breathe and scream, as the hands continue to do with what I can no longer fight against. I'm too weak to scream any longer, so I stop resisting.
sit quietly together. I'm going to have to move one of you. Okay. Mercy, stay where you are. Sigh. Stop the needle, please. Oh, but Liz, we're only talking. Yes, exactly. We're always only talking. Come on, get your bag. Nina, thank you. The girls, that's not the excuse to start talking. Let's keep this between ourselves for now. 
So knackered. Knackered? When we go home this summer, no one will understand any word you are saying. You sound so Irish. I do? Yes, you do. I am so hungry, I could eat the beard of Jesus. What's for lunch? <laughs> Your favorites. Hey, pussy soup. Well, the only woman I can't have done and 
be safe later, I promise. A doctor will perform the surgery. It is very different now, not like in your womb, in your mother's day. Come, sit. We'll talk about this later. Have some food. Look, I I'm not you. hungry! Everyone will gather at the house. There will be a big party and lots of presents to celebrate. It will be one of the most important days of your life. Like ten birthdays. Don't like me anymore! I don't want to go! You won't make me go! Bella! Talk to me. I was wrong not to tell you about your circumcision. I didn't want to scare you. I only ever wanted your happiness. I want you to have all the best things this world has to offer. Free to be anything you want to be. That is why I brought you to this country. So you can make a difference in the world. Everything I have done was for you and your mom. But today feels like the old and the new ways are at war in my head. And your old dad is very confused. Will you give me some time to figure out what's best for you? That is all I want. What's best for you? 
Bella, are you listening? Bella. Bella. Bella? She's gone. What? She's not in her room. Wait. hometown, the summer I turned 11. It was such a shock. There I was, in the middle of my grandma Dora's garden, in Africa, a whole hemisphere away, when just that morning, I had been at her house in damp and rainy Dublin. <laughs> oh, so many friends and cousins who I'd never met before, milling around us. One cousin had my eyes. And then I had my father's laugh. For the first time, I felt fully connected to this place, these amazing people. And we had a few fun-filled days, and then I was taken to be circumcised. It happened in my grandma's kitchen. But you don't need to be first. Well, I do. I need to know. No, you don't, because it won't be happening to you. I am going to do everything in my power to make sure that. Come on, we should go inside. It's getting dark. Everything's going to be okay. Is it? Yes. I promised you. Didn't I? Maybe we should call him 
Paris. Decided to set an example. 